New today, Willoughby Police turning to community members to help cut back on crime. The department is launching a brand new dog walker watch program to serve as an extra set of eyes in the community. The Now's Meg Shaw getting all the details for us on this story. So, Meg, why are police asking for help from the dog owners? Well, they told me most of the time criminals don't pay attention to people walking their dogs, so that's why police think they're the perfect people for this job. And today I spoke with a dog walker in the Cleveland area who says this program is a great idea. Come on, let's go. There is a lot that goes on during the day when people are away at work. You know, people kind of know that homes are vacant and they'll case things, case cars, case yards, case houses. Maureen Murphy has walked dogs for nearly three and a half years on the city's west side. Come on, Stu. She told me she's never come across any major crimes while on the job, but she's had to report a few incidences to police. She told me it's just part of the job to look out for the neighborhood you're in. You are kind of a facilitator in a way. The daytime eyes. She believes Willoughby's new dog walker watch program could prevent and even solve crimes. It could deter prevent crime. someone's home from being robbed if you, you know, yell something out or someone's car from being broken into. Patrolman Bruce Fetter told me as part of the program, they'll train people on what to look for. Whether we want to believe it or not, when we're driving our cars and we're walking around, we're really not. We think we're paying attention, but we're really not. So what we want to do is train people to actually pay attention. Fetter said the program wasn't created to have people intervene or stop crime, but to alert police to suspicious or out-of-the-ordinary activity. So we'd rather get a call and go there and find out it was nothing than get a call you know, two, three days after an incident and find out that maybe a house was burglarized. Last year, Willoughby had more than 450 cases of theft and nearly 60 cases of burglary. They hope this will bring these numbers down for this year. So we want to utilize them to help us keep the community safe and make, continue to make Willoughby an awesome place to live. So if you live in Willoughby and want to get involved, you can call their department to sign up for a training class or head to their website.